standard, not my opinion or point of view, okay? okay. Nine Commandments says we're not to tell a lie. Have you ever told a lie? Yeah. yeah. And what do they call people who tell lies? Liars. Liars. Very good. The Eighth Commandment says we're not to steal. Don't take anything that doesn't belong to you regardless of its value. Have you ever done that? Yes. How about you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And what do they call people who take things that don't belong to you? Shoplifters. Shoplifters. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. What would they call them if they take things that don't belong to them? What do they call them? Thieves. 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 Yeah, very good. Excellent. <laughs> Third command says we're not to commit blasphemy. As you take a holy God's name, you drag it through the mud like a four little filth you know, swearing. Have you ever done that one? Yeah. This is amazing. I find almost everybody I meet swears almost like every other word out of their mouth sometimes. Am I right? Yet yeah, the Bible is very clear. The Bible says that God will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. Now, you guys, you know, that would be like if I called your mother a swear word. How would you like that? Really Absolutely. She said, yep, you got a holy God in you. go, I don't care what you think. I want to do what I want to say anyway. Okay? He didn't do anything to them. He gave them their life. He got blood to go into your veins. You get married. You have children. And you have swear with his name. And the name is not really good, is it? One more and we're done. Seventh commandment says you're not to commit adultery. But before he answered, Jesus said, if you just look at another person with lust, you've already committed adultery with them in your heart. Have you ever looked at another person with lust? Yes. He's smiling. <laughs> yes. I'll be honest. Right, you got to be honest. You can't lie now, right? Uh, okay. So what, what's your first name real quick? Uh, Gabe. Gabe? Yeah. Gabe. Okay. Oh, cool. Brian. Brian? Brennan. Brennan. B-R-E-N. Well, that's another. I haven't heard that one. Jerry. Jerry. Okay. So we've got guys in your own admissions. You're a bunch of liars, thieves, you're blasphemers, and adulterers at heart. Doesn't sound like a good person, does it? So here's the problem. If that were true, say some drunk jumped the curb right now and he kills us, and you're going to be facing a holy God. This is your last night on planet Earth. How do you think he would find you based on those Ten Commandments? You've done four. There's six more to go. You think you'd be innocent or guilty? Guilty. 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 Now, if he was guilty, where would God have to send you? Heaven or hell? Purgatory. Good question. Good work. Now, how about you? Heaven or hell? You broke the law. What do you think? Huh? Hell, all right, not probably. Not maybe. Not kind of. You broke the law. Come on, let's be straight. You gotta, you gotta face that. All right. Now, in your case, guess I'm sorry. In the Bible, there's no such mention of the word hell. There is a religion, major religion, that talks about it, and they're lying. Purgatory. Makes you feel good. See, there is no, there's no purgatory. It's either heaven or hell. So, let's get that way without. That helps you. Like, well, you know what? No, I'm not that bad. At least, like, the in between. No, no there's no okay. So, if you're going to be going to hell here, here's the hard one. Does that concern any of you? There's a possibility you could be going to hell based on your own lifestyle. Does that concern you? Yeah, it should, right? Because look, I'm out here talking to you guys. I don't even know you. I may never see you again, but I'm concerned about you because I wouldn't want anybody to go to hell. But I know what it's like. You guys know what hell is like? No. No? I no don't idea? Want, I don't want to know what it's like. Yes, you do. Because then you would know how to run from it. If you don't know there's a problem, you're going to run right into it, and then it's too late. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. So hell in the Bible tells us a place is where your thirst is never quenched. How hot is the sun? Imagine being on it. Thirst never quenched. He says worms never die. Constant gnashing of teeth. Eternal darkness in a lake of fire for eternity. Not a fun place, is it? Okay. So knowing all that, what are you going to do then? I mean, what would you do? I mean, what? what do you have any change? Okay, he says change. That's a good answer, but that's not going to help because watch. Once you're a lawbreaker, you're a lawbreaker. All right, you broke the law. You got, you got a stain against you. If they catch you, it's the day you got to die, it will. So do you know what God did for you so you wouldn't have to go to hell? Huh? So Muhammad died on the cross. You said he died. So I, I don't know who he is. Like, he could be anybody, right? I mean... Genghis Khan died on a cross. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, Who right. died? Do you know the song? Thank you. Jesus Christ died on a cross. So what does that mean to you? So if you just take that one little statement and you say, well, Jesus died on a cross. And then everybody goes, hey, we're all going to heaven then, right? Wrong. That's why it doesn't make sense. See, a God made a provision. He made a way for us to get back, get to heaven through his son, Jesus Christ. He paid the price. See? took the fine for the crime that I committed, and now that you're admitting that you committed, so that we have a way back in. But what do you have to do? There's two things that need to be done to know what they are. One is called repent, the other one is trust. See, repentance has to do with godly sorrow. Maybe a word you haven't heard about, no, but repentance is like you're 
you don't just go, well, I'm sorry, I can't help it, it's not my fault, you know, everybody else does it. Yeah, that's not repentance, that's justification. Repentance you turn away from. You no longer lie, steal, fornicate. Stop. Repentance, because you know what he did to a holy God. You believe the holy God. He's the one who sinned against. Not against your buddy that you stole from him, but it's God that caused the, the sin. Get it? I know. So once you understand that, you repent of it, then he says you place your trust in Jesus Christ alone. There's no priest. Where's the God? Jesus Christ. He's the one that paid the fine for my crimes. Because I, I deserve to go to hell like everybody else. But see, my eyes got open back in 1994. And I knew I was going to be going to hell, just like you guys just admitted. Okay? Based on my lifestyle. I've broken all the laws. You know, over and over again. I can tell you hundreds of times. But because God opened my eyes at that moment and recognized that because of what Jesus did for me, that my sins would be forgiven. My slate is wiped clean. And then I should go to us whiteboard and just take the eraser and it's all gone. I'm a brand new slate now, white. See? I've been born again. You must have heard the term. You have to be born again. Jesus said, unless you're born again, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Well, what does it mean to be born again? New creation, right? You're not the same as you used to be. It makes sense. Born again. You were born now. You're in sin, held captive by Satan. He's the one that's tempting you. But now because of what Christ's done for you and your eyes are opened up and you will recognize it, you repent, turn from your ways, they shall trust in him. He says, I give you the Holy Spirit, you're washed clean, now you're one of mine, you're adopted into the kingdom of heaven. Pretty cool? Isn't that awesome? Now here's how you get the glow stick, because you didn't deserve it, did you? Right? You didn't pass the test. You weren't good. Right? Because a good person wouldn't be a liar or thief. Remember, I didn't ask you how many times you've lied, or how many times you've stolen. You get it to compounding the fact what you've done to Holy God. So the Bible is very clear. It says, by grace we've been saved. You know what grace wow. means? It's a free gift. See, so if I give you something and you did nothing to earn it, you didn't work for it, you didn't do anything, it's a gift, right? Well, that's what God did when he sent Jesus down. He gave us a gift. And it says it's freely given. And in, in Ephesians it says, by grace we've been saved, it's a gift from God, not of works, so that no man can boast. Pretty cool. See, we can't brag about what we do, because I gave money to the poor, I helped out these old people, you know, I, I go to church on Sunday, look at me, I'm a good person. Yeah, ain't gonna work. Get it? Only people say what? His death on the cross, he shed blood, he rose from the dead, no one has ever done that. I now turn from my sin, repent because of the sorrow, and I place my trust in Jesus Christ for my forgiveness. So that's a great thing. Make sense? So all you have to do, this is a paltry example, we use it, of what Jesus did on the cross, get it, his gift was himself, or I'm giving you as a glow stick. But that's how we try to make the example, you don't deserve it, we're going to give it to you anyway, you just got to reach up and take it. Which one you want? I got more colors. I got, if you want, if you want different colors, I like the different colors. But see, look at resistance with the hand. And I got something for you to read. I'd like you to read also as well. So when you go home tonight, check it out. But, you know, I don't think I can save anybody. But I can give you the information that God maybe will work on you tonight. You check about what it says. Hopefully you remember what I said. Some people do, some people don't. You know, I got to get you one, right? Right. There it is. And truly, get on your knees tonight before you go to bed. And then ask God, say, you know, what is it that old guy was talking about? I mean, is that something you wanted me to hear? Is that something I need to understand? I mean, is my life going to be sending me to a place called hell? Let him speak to you about that. Change your life. Make you a new creation. And now your destiny is heaven. No more pain. No more torment. Now you'll serve him like we do. Maybe you'll be out here one night sharing with other people the good news that you just found out about. Get it? I like that. He put a big smile on his face. Yeah. But just think about it. Here's an example. See this guy driving up and down the street here? What if there was a big earthquake up there earlier and now you can't see the road. It's gone, but they're just driving anyway. And you know about it. And you just stand in the corner and go, well, you know, they're having a good time. I'm not going to say anything. And as these guys are driving down, ba-boom! Down into the pit with your bed. And you just stand by and go, well, you know, they, 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 they should have seen it. Not my responsibility. How selfish would that be, right? Very selfish. Yeah, you'd be there, hey, stop, wait, there. But, and warning them. You do whatever, that's why we're out here tonight. And prayerfully, one day you might be here. I can see that in you. <laughs> yeah. I think God wants to get you, my friend, and change you tonight. When you go home, I want you to pray about that.
And give it serious thought. This is serious because you're more than a dime, not true. true. When do you think you're going to die? How about you? When do you think you're going to die? Hopefully, hopefully, right? <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's crazy cool. people shooting people. Yeah, that's crazy. Come on, it's nuts. Yeah. Your life could be gone just like that. Even the baby, or you might die 17. How old are you? 18. 18, I'm sorry. But you can't die 17. Yeah. Do you get it? Yeah, yeah. So it's a very important decision. Same with you. Don't take difference? it so lightly. Okay, appreciate it. Thank God bless you. you. Thanks for listening. I really do. Appreciate it. Tonight, go ask. Very bottom